Don, Chuck Burr. And in the ring now for the tag team feature are the Lazowski brothers. Reggie on the left, 246. Stan on the right, who just slapped at Yukon Eric. And Stan weighs 242. In the middle, Joe Moscato, the referee. And on the right, Big Bobo Brazil out of East St. Louis, Illinois. And Bobo weighs 275 pounds. If I said East St. Louis, Illinois, I'm extremely sorry. It's St. Louis, Missouri. And his partner is Yukon Eric, 280 pounds of Alaskan Lumberjack, returning to partner up with Bobo against the Lazowskis. And it's been a long time between appearances for Yukon. And he looks just as big and just as powerful as ever. Well, sir, the uh, Lazowski brothers, Reggie and Stan, chased the Millers right out of these parts by scoring decisively. Not so long ago. As most of you witnessed, Joe. The question is, can they do the same thing to Bobo Brazil and Yukon Eric? And Bobo is starting things out for his team and Reggie Lazowski. He of uh, the biggest biceps in sports by his own claim is working in behalf of the brother tandem. Wham! Down goes Stan. The innocent bystander. The innocent bystander, Stan Lazowski, caught one flush on the chop. And now he takes over. You know, it's a commentary on human nature. Last week, the Lazowskis, for the first time in their careers, were the fair-haired boys, and I mean that literally as well as figuratively, against the Millers. They were the popular favorites. Tonight, against Yukon and Big Bobo Brazil, they are royally hated. Big Bobo utilizing Roll Stan Lazowski onto his side, but can't escape the punishing headlock being applied by the younger and four-pound lighter uh, member of the Lazowski tandem. A hair pull and a tag. Reggie Lazowski busily engaged in gouging and pulling Bobo Brazil's hair. How long Brazil is going to take that is problematical. These Lazowskis work well as a team, and that may make a difference tonight because Bobo Brazil and Yukon Eric are partnering up for about the first time. There's the Coco Bite. One, two, and Stan gets out from under. Ducks over and tags Reggie, and then... Goes to salve his aching head. And he's hanging on to it, too. Dan Lazowski. <laughs> Thus far, Yukon Eric has had much to do. Now, he's in. And he's throwing ponderous right hands and forearms. And they're landing flush on Reggie Lazowski, who wants no further part of it. Reggie is trying to head for the clover. An effective tag, but he can't do it. Now he's trying to beat Eric in his home, own game with a bear hug. And he's got about as much chance. You can see what happens. Eric just lifts him off his feet. He's got the Lazowskis thoroughly befuddled and bulldozed with that tremendous power. Now, Reggie has the equalizer for that strength. And the rope strangle now being applied by the Lazowskis, but Eric gets off the hook. And there's the belly butt. Now a double dose. Listen to this crowd. The 
and the Lazowskis. Temporarily, probably, but at least for the moment, have no further interest in the proceedings. Time out for a small conference. UConn trying to listen in. I don't know whether he presented his good ear or not. You know, wrestlers, strong as they are, and in the great shape that they all are, still are vulnerable. And UConn Eric is a great case in point. In Montreal several years ago. Just too powerful for Stan Lazowski. Uh, in Montreal several years ago, Yukon was wrestling Tarzan Kowalski. Well, we'll let that go for the moment. Stan falls into the wrestler's hole. And they managed to get Yukon into a rope strangle in the corner. Stan is throwing right hands, and they're just bouncing off Yukon's broad stomach. That's as hard as nails. But he's in trouble nonetheless. There's the eye gouge. Reggie got him over by the ropes and is drawing the eyes across the upper strand. Stan chimes in with a rabbit punch. Here's a full Nelson being applied by Reggie Lazowski. Let's see if you can just how he gets out of this. Wow! It might not have been neat, but it was sure effective. Those right hands were telegraphed from here to breakfast, but they landed on the surprise Lazowski, first Stan and then Reggie. And they're going to be spitting teeth for a week. I was about to say, while the action is temporarily interrupted, I'll continue. Yukon got in the throes of a Tarzan Kowalski pile driver in Montreal. And when Kowalski crashed him down, he took Yukon's left ear right off. There is a demonstration of that great Yukon Eric strength. And Reggie Lazowski, a powerful man in his own right, has a fighting chance against Eric in a test of brute strength. As I said before, these Lazowskis have the equalizers for all situations. They're applying it now. The foot to the throat. Now a tag, and in comes Stan, and Yukon's a little bit groggy. A kick to the chest. You can hear that one all over the auditorium. Boing. If only he didn't fly, you just don't lift Eric up. Count got the two, but Wazowski couldn't hold him. In comes Reggie now. They don't give Eric a chance to regain his feet or his composure. As soon as a break is ordered, they tag, and the other one comes in and takes right over. Now it's Reggie, and Joe Moscato has got his hands full. Trying to create order out of a presently chaotic situation. Here comes Brazil. Well, this is going to work to Eric's disadvantage. Moscato chased Brazil out of the ring, and that enabled the Lazowskis to get in some additional illegal licks. But they've got Yukon's left leg draped over the lower strand, and they're crashing down with all their weight upon it, and that leg is in bad shape. Most wrestling fans who have seen the Lazowskis have seen them utilize this trick. Yukon can't get over to make a tag of his partner, Bobo Brazil. And Bobo is helpless and frustrated on the far side, while the Lazowskis try to tear Yukon Larrick's left leg off at the root. There's a twisting step over toe hold. Reggie Lazowski 
has asked UConn if he wants to concede. UConn says yes. So the Lazowskis are the winners of the first fall. The Lazowskis, the winners of the first fall, and UConn Eric bore the brunt. And finally was victimized by a twisting step over toe applied by Reggie Lazowski. We'll have an official announcement of the time in a moment. Meanwhile, the Lazowskis are enjoying their glory, their moment of glory, but remember, additional falls, falls. So the advantage is the Lazowskis for the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean for good. Here's the time. 9-12 the time, Bobo Brazil. Well, we're going to have the second fall in a few moments. Just as soon as UConn recovers the use of the left leg, which received such a tremendous amount of punishment dished out by the Lazowskis, who won the first fall. We ought to see plenty of hot and heavy action in this second fall because the team of UConn, Eric, and Bobo Brazil have a lot of indignity to make up for. They suffered excruciatingly, especially did UConn, Eric, at the hands of the Lazowskis who are demonstrating not only great teamwork, but a thorough knowledge of brutality and illegality in this match tonight. Against the Millers, the Lazowskis were the underdogs, and the tribe treated them with a degree of friendliness that's uncommon to their appearances. But now that the Millers are disposed of and the Lazowskis are taking on a couple of prime favorites, Yukon, Eric, and Bobo Brazil. They're right back where they belong in the crowd's disfavor. Reggie Lazowski and Bobo Brazil, but I think uh, I think Yukon has got to get in. Yeah, he was in. He was in at the end of the first fall. He was he conceded. So he's gonna have to start. Of that I'm reasonably sure. And Reggie Lazowski will start for his side. He affected the pin or the concession from Yukon Eric. Let's see if Yukon has recovered. You can be sure of one thing. Right away they went for it, but Yukon isn't having any. The Lazowskis will make for that leg. This crowd is plenty noisy tonight. And they're plenty worked up over the tactics of the Lazowskis. There's the tag. Here comes Bobo. Now let's see if Reggie Lazowski can take it as well as he can dish it out. A headlock by Brazil. Dan Lazowski. Ready to cop a sneak into the ring if he can get away with it. There's a knee drop. Bobo Brazil on the offensive. Reggie Lazowski grudgingly on the defensive. Now they haul Lazowski into their corner, and the fun is about to begin. UConn gets in to keep the peace to make sure that Stan Lazowski, who is understandably concerned for his brother's welfare, doesn't take things into his own hands. Bobo Brazil applying a step over toe hold, and this is the finisher, basically the finisher that won the first ball for the Lazowski. Now you can see they're doing the same thing that the Lazowski did to them. heading for Clover. He gets the tag. Here comes Stan. Coco Buck. Another one. Bobo Brazil is enraged. Now they put the step over on Stan. He'll drape that leg over the slower strand. You can bet. Go to work on that. Here comes Reggie Lazowski. Bobo meets him with a Coco Buck. Now they got Stan over the lower strand and they're just bouncing up and down on the left leg. 
And Reggie Lazowski <laughs> is out of business for practical purposes. He's grabbing. Joe Moscato counts twice. And Stan hauls the right shoulder off the mat. See Bobo Brazil using the rope. He won't often do that. But he is now. He tags UConn. And meanwhile, hanging on to Stan Lazowski. UConn with a ponderous forearm smash. Here's the lift in the icicle hole. Oh, brother, Lazowski in there. Reggie Lazowski. That icicle is Bobo's finisher. You saw it. If that knee isn't fractured, it may just as well be. The Boston Crab, a concession. The second fall won by Lazowski and or Bobo Brazil and Yukon Eric over the Lazowski. Well, I can't talk over the crowd. Absolutely the noisiest house that I've heard in action here in quite a spell. They're going wild. Now, official Yukon Eric will gain the fall, a concession fall, over Stan Lazowski with the aid of a Boston Crab. And the match is going to be all even. It is now 4-0-3. That makes it official. It's all squared up at one fall apiece, and we'll have the third fall in a moment. You're looking in at a very groggy and bedraggled looking pair of Lazowskis who got the full treatment in the second fall from Yukon Eric and Bobo Brazil. Brazil with cocoa butts, Yukon with a variety of holes and tricks, culminating it with the Boston Crab. We force a concession from Stan Lazowski and square the match at a fall apiece. These wrestlers have in the past and will continue to demonstrate amazing recuperative powers. So you can bet the Lazowskis will be very active and very much in business when the third fall gets underway. And I think, although I couldn't hear over the noise of this crowd, that the bell did ring. Joe Moscato, the referee, asking uh, timer Huey Shannon whether or not he rang the bell for the third fall, and Shannon says yes, and there it is. I can hear it now. It'll be Yukon Eric in there against Stan Lazowski. Reggie, Reggie claims that he was in there, but he wasn't. Officially, Stan was in at the end of the second fall. So he's going to have to go back in, whether he likes it or not. And at this precise moment, he doesn't like it. And Reggie's going to wish, if he doesn't already, that he let Stan in there. In comes Stan, the hard way. Out goes Reggie, the hard way. Yukon Eric. Stan Lazowski with nobody to look forward to. And look out, here he comes into the bear hug. Here comes Reggie, grabs Yukon, pulls him free just in time. And poor Stan is heading for the rhubarb. He wants relief and gets it. That could have been it, because Yukon has two pet finishers, the icicle hold, also the bear hug. Full Nelson, and on Eric, that's about as effective as a glass of water in the Pacific Ocean to raise the level of the Pacific Ocean. But on the other hand, the full Nelson applied by Yukon Eric is something else. Reggie Lazowski just cannot break loose. He's being shaken up like a rag doll. Finally tagged Stan. And Yukon is in the Lazowski corner, and he's about to get old what for. Into the turnbuckle. Here comes Bobo to straighten things out. In the meantime, Coco Butt. Dan Lazowski is supposed to be in the ring. He is on the ring floor at the moment. Now beginning to climb back in. 
Reggie cannot uh, legally enter until he's tagged. Now he's tagged. We're in the third and deciding fall. And Reggie Lazowski getting chopped up pretty good over there. And Yukon Eric in the heat of excitement. Almost let Sergeant Joe Moscato have the same treatment. That would have been costly, most unwise. Those feet are hitting Yukon right where he lived, but he managed to get over and tag Brazil. And Bobo walks into a right hand and is immediately on the defensive. we go. Bobo Brazil is on the ring floor. And Reggie Lazowski is applying the boots very liberally. Bobo meets him with a shoulder. And Bobo is mad. Tough go back. Unless Lazowski gets out of there in a hurry, I think he's about had it. He manages to get over and tag Stan. Wham! Right into Yukon's broad chest. A pile driver. Here comes Yukon Eric. There's the Coco Butt. That head of Bobo Brazil's is as hard as a rack of Gibraltar. immaterial to Yukon. Whichever one is in the ring is going to get it. And now it's Reggie Lazowski. The icicle hold. He can't hold him as Stan gets in and bails his brother out with a right hand to the stomach. There's a body press applied by Reggie Lazowski. One. Tag. Bobo Brazil comes in. And he's got Reggie Lazowski in a full note. You saw it. You saw it. And Stan is a little bit frustrated. Here comes Yukon in with his broken. He's applying those size 16s. Lazowski. And this match is taking on riotous proportions. You'll have to watch it. I can't keep up with it. Eric is swinging at everybody. The Lazowski. Joe Mas I don't know who's supposed to be in the ring. I think somebody got disqualified. Where do we find out who? Yep, Yukon Eric. And Bobo Brazil are disqualified. I think for using a foreign instrument. Namely, Yukon size 16 lumberjack boot. We'll have the announcement, the decision in a moment, and the fans are expressing their general dis displeasure even, even before the official verdict. And I only hope they don't hit me. Marty Moscato's special police now around the ring, keeping order. Six twenty-one, the time. The Lazowski's the winner. Bobo Brazil and Yukon Eric disqualified by referee Joe Moscato. A very quick and unexpected ending to a very riotous bout here at Memorial Auditorium. Best two out of three fall tag team feature went to the Lazowski's. They lost the first one. And then came back, I beg your pardon, they won the first fall, lost the second, and then came back on a disqualification to take the third and deciding...